Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. I've got quite an interesting one for you for this one. This is a mild beer, which is the first time I've encountered this style. But the other interesting point about this beer is that it's a collaboration between three different breweries. And that is Browry de Molen from the Netherlands, and then Brewfest Tocolmato and Birificio del Ducato, all from Italy. And this is called Mild I'd Like to Drink. And uh, obviously a reference to the mouth there, as you can tell by the label. So um, this this is my first encounter with Tocalmato and Birificio del Ducato, but I have tried beers for you before from De Molin and from Brufist, and they're both very, very good breweries, so it'll be interesting to have my first beer from the other two as well. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then, I'll take you through a very brief history of the breweries in this. It will only be a minute or so on each of them, but if you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. The brewery websites are in the video description for you below, along with a link to my other reviews that I've done from these guys before, and there will be ones added, hopefully, for Tocal Domato and Birificio del Ducato as well. So anyway, to tell you about these different breweries. First up we have Browry de Molen and this is a small craft brewery distillery and restaurant located in Bodegraven in the Netherlands. The name de Molen translates from Dutch into English as the mill and the brewery is located in a historic windmill called de Arctweef which was built in the year 1657. Now de Molen was founded in 2004 by Menno Olivier who started out as a home brewer before turning professional and then founding his own company in de Molen. So next up is Brewfest. These guys are a small brewery based in the Lombardia region in northern Italy and it was founded in 2010 by three friends who had a passion for craft beer. Pietro Di Palato, one of the founders and head brewer, he says that the brewery is part of a new generation of Italian brewers and a market that is really beginning to thrive in Italy. And Pietro actually spent some time gaining brewing experience at Fuller's Brewery in England before he launched the flagship beer of Brewfest, Spaceman IPA. Supposed to be a really awesome one that and the beer I've had from Brewfest before has been pretty damn good I have to say but the brewery want to produce high quality and hugely drinkable beers and they go around with the motto of more people more beer so Brewfist are one that I know you definitely want to look out for a very good brewery so the next up is Birificio del Ducato these guys were founded in 2007 in a small village called Rumcoli Verde in Parma in Italy this is, this is just to the south of Parma actually and this is also the birthplace of the renowned Italian composer Giuseppe Verdi the brewery was founded by Giovanni Campari who holds a, f a degree in food science and he's insist assisted in the commercial side of things by Manuel Piccoli. Since its foundation it has grown in exports year on year and it's won many medals in international beer competitions and these guys are very very highly rated in rate beer and beer advocate. As I say this is my first encounter from them so hopefully it's good. The final brewery in this mix is Tocal Mato. These guys were founded in 2008 by Bruno Carelli in a small village to the north of Parma called Fidenza. Now Bruno founded the brewery after many years working in the food and brewing industry and he founded this brewery with three of his friends as well. But the brewery are known for producing American and Belgian style beers, usually very hot forward apparently, but all of their beers are sold in large bottles and Bruno says that this is following the Italian tradition of sharing a bottle of wine which is very cool and he said it basically wanted to make the brewery stand out so you will only find the Tocalmato beers in really big bottles but this beer was actually brewed at the Brewfest brewery in Codogno in Italy so this guy and um, this is why it's in one of the smaller bottles but to tell you about this beer itself this guy is a 6.5 percent mild, mild ale meant to be a quite kind of dark beer actually but the idea to brew this beer apparently came from Menno Olivier at De Molen Brewing it was quickly passed around with his friends at Brewfest and the rest of the guys at Del Ducato and Tocal Mato as well so should be quite an interesting beer for us to try. I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little quick look at the artwork before we uh, open up. As you can see there's a nice milf on the front there. It's called Mild I Like to Drink. The IBUs are 30, 33 centilitres, 330 millilitres and the alcohol content is 6.5%. It has the standard Brewfest bottle cap on the top there. It says on the back, it just says ingredients, water, malts, hops, water, barley. Yeah, basically yeast as well. Uh, it doesn't really tell you anything else on the back. There's another picture of the milf with all of the, the other things there. So I think I'll keep this bottle just because it's quite funny and it says product of Italy and it's actually just about to go out of date on the 30th of May so just as well I'm reviewing it for you just now but without further ado let's get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting oh, lost that bottle cap to the floor but I'll get it back later so as you can see a nice kind of smoky opening from this guy and it looks a really nice beer actually as I say I've never encountered this style of beer before 
a nice uh, mild beer. It's meant to be, I looked it up what it was, and it's meant to be a nice kind of dark chocolatey beer, but it's supposed to have a good bit of hop presence in it as well. But anyway, as you can see, it's poured a really nice dark sort of uh, rosewoody colour, maybe an ebony colour actually is the best way to describe that. Just bring it up to the camera so you can see. There's a good two and a half finger of a kind of tan or beigey frothy head on this there's some bigger bubbles in there too so maybe you could get away with describing it as bumpy obviously you're not going to see anything through that you can see just a little bit of carbonation going up towards the bottom of the head but there's a good bit of sediment uh, sitting at the bottom of the glass here so that's maybe just because i've had it in the fridge for two or three days actually but anyway let's give it a smell and see how we get on it's got a really big kind of hoppy presence actually there's a nice sort of citrusy and grapefruit note coming out of this, which is quite interesting. But if you sugar it up a little bit, you can pick up a little bit of kind of chocolate underneath. Very interesting blend of flavour of uh, aromas, this guy actually. So you've got a big roasted character lying underneath, and some chocolate and bready malts. But there's a big, definite fruity hot presence in there. Some kind of I want to say there's like grapefruit and some kind of citrusy elements in there. It's quite hard to pick out actually just because of the dark chocolate but I want to say there's maybe just a wee teeny bit of pine resin in there actually. But it smells really nice, it's really interesting. Big malty base particularly when you sugar it up but if you just let it stand still you're getting a little bit more of the kind of fruity hops. And there's a definite grapefruit element to that and some just a little bit of pine resin. Perhaps a wee bit of citrus as well. I think there's an orangey citrus to this one. It doesn't tell you what hops are in it exactly, but it would be quite interesting to know. I think there's a nice big juicy orange citrus, but there's definitely a grapefruit presence in there too with some kind of piney resins. Very, very nice smelling beer actually. But yeah, nice chocolatey aroma underneath with some kind of big caramel, you can pick up the caramel elements out of it, a big bready character to it as well, but a big roasted element, some nice chocolate and maybe just a little bit of coffee in there as well, but the, the most prominent component of the aroma is definitely the kind of nice orangey and grapefruity hops with a little bit of pine resin, that's what's sticking out, but without further ado, this is the mild or the mild or mild I'd like to drink collaboration between uh, Demolin, Tocomato, Brewfist and Birificio del Ducato, Slangia. Now that's really interesting actually. You get a nice fruity hop when you take it in, but then on the aftertaste, you're getting a big roasty malt base on it, which is very unusual actually. Yeah, there's a big hoppy bitterness lying on the tongue here. You, it kind of blankets the uh, the tongue with a nice kind of bready malt base, a light bready malt base. And just as you move out of the way, you get this kind of dark, very dark roasted coffee element coming out there. It's, it's, it's maybe even the roasty element that's coming out of this, maybe even is just a little bit smoky actually. But it's, it's not sm smoky, it's very, very roasty and very just a very kind of dark and ashy feel to it actually, it's not quite coffee, it's definitely ashy. But yeah, there's a huge malty kind of feel into this guy. You're, I'm not picking up much in the way of a caramel sweetness, which is what you're getting in the aroma. There's not even a little bit of kind of chocolate to it, there's not even a big, a very big sweetness on the malt base, it is a very dark roasted malt that you're getting out of this guy and it just on the back edges of the tongue it's actually very dark and very bitter but in the middle of the tongue as you take it in you get a nice big kind of bready blanket just over the middle of the palate yeah when you actually have the liquid in your mouth there's maybe a little bit of a kind of chocolatey flavour maybe a teeny teeny bit of caramel but it's mainly in the aftertaste you get this really dark, slightly ashy roasted character that just is on the edges of the tongue there. It's, it's very interesting and also when the, the, the liquid is actually still in your mouth that's when you're getting the juicy hop character out of it as well.
yeah, there's a definite presence of a kind of pine resin element to it, and that's lingering just at the front of the tongue, just behind the, the kind of hot part of the beer, but on the edges of the tongue, right at the front, the back corners, of course, are dominated by this really dark roasted aroma. Perhaps a little bit of earthy hop character in there as well, but at the front of the tongue you're getting a kind of aromatic and piney dryness, but there is a definite fruit presence in there, and it is particularly when the liquid's on your tongue that you will feel it, but I think there's a definite grapefruit and perhaps a kind of orangey citrus in there too, blending together, but it's, it is kind of drowned out in the aftertaste by the, the dark roasted kind of ashy character in this. Yeah, you get a little bubble moving towards the front of the tongue that has a nice juicy character, definite citrus and definite grapefruit and there are really orangey grapefruit flavour coming out of this guy. And there is some pine resin in there too, you just can detect that. But around that the, the kind of hoppy fruitiness sticks on the front of the tongue, then in the middle of the palate you've got the big kind of bready blanket but the dark roasted element at the edge with a little bit of ash. When the liquid is in your mouth, as I say, you can get just a little bit of chocolate and a little bit of caramel, but it's a very interesting blend of flavours. I've never encountered a, this style of beer before, so it is really interesting to try. Yeah, nice juicy fruit element at the front of the tongue there and it complements the roasted character at the back of the tongue as well. It's, it's a very interesting beer. If you do get this, give it a go because it's one, again, it's one that's actually making me really have to think about what's in the beer. Never encountered this mild style before, so very interesting beer. In terms of the mouthfeel, I'd say it's definitely mid-bodied. I think it, it's definitely in the middle of there. You've got a nice fruity juiciness that comes. As I said, you get that oily mouthfeel that just pushes towards the start, but it's leaving a huge, big, roasted, uh, kind of almost ashy, kind of slightly coffee bitterness. As the, the aftertaste builds a little bit, it comes out as more of a, of a coffee bitterness, and that just sits on the back of the tongue. But you've got a big fruity, juicy character at the front of the tongue, just right behind the very tip there and you've got some piney resins and some orangey and grapefruit flavours there and the oily character helps bring that out and of course you've got a big bready malt base um, that just kind of blankets the tongue there so the mouthfeel is actually really nice but the beer is actually really quite dry on the finish as well the carbonation I think is pretty light but it more complements the roasted character that comes out in the aftertaste but I mean as I said it's a really really interesting beer so I would recommend you give it a go. I'm not sure exactly what kind of food or whatever you could pair this beer with but to me it's really interesting just to have a taste of it and give it a go you know but yeah overall it's a really really nice beer. Brewfest have produced yet another one it was brewed at their brewery in Cadonio but I'm sure Demo, uh, Demol and Del Ducato and Tocalmato are, are all very good breweries so You've got four excellent breweries involved in the brewing of this beer, so it is definitely worth trying. But anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review. Please let me know your own comments on it if you do happen to have tried it. I would really recommend that you do because it is very, very interesting, as I say. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this beer review. Please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. And I would ask my Italian viewers to please recommend me some other breweries to have a look at in Italy. So thank you for that, and I will catch you soon with my next review. Cheers.